tips. Jules is here with hacks on how to extend the life of everyday household items. And I believe that we are going to start in the laundry room, right, Jules? You betcha. Well, actually, Tracy, I was going to be in my laundry room, but I now have a son that's come home from university. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can find my laundry room by Labor Day because we have some issues. But, Tracy, I can show you how you can save money in your laundry room. Okay, so let's start with the typical laundry sheet, right? Your dryer sheet. But most people, if, if you hear sometimes, they're like, oh, you can use your laundry sheet more than once. Yes, you can. Yeah, I challenge you to find that laundry sheet after you've done the laundry once, <laughs> right? It ends up in somebody's sock drawer. So no, what you're gonna do, Trace, is you're actually going to cut the laundry sheets. So what I do is I actually cut them into four. Cutting them into four will give you the exact same power, the same static, everything, but it's just cut into four. So much easier. So I'm gonna tell you my math here, Trace. The average box of dryer sheets, let's say they're 40 in a box, that would say that you would get 40 loads. Well, I'm just gonna cut them into four. Now we just got 160 loads of laundry from <gasps> one dryer box. Right? Isn't my math good? <laughs> Very good. I'm impressed. No, no, we're going to take it even one step further for your dryer. Is I don't know, Tracy, have you gotten into these yet? Wool dryer balls? Have you I tried haven't. These? I haven't. I'm not doing anything extra unless I know for sure I need to do the extra. Okay, well, this, I'm going to tell you, is so awesome. These will help with your dryer as well. They will, you know, help with static cling. They will help with wrinkles. But the best part is, as well, they actually make your laundry dry faster. So it's helping out with your energy as well. And they are, the dryer balls aren't hard to find. I got these ones at well.ca. They were sent to me. It's easy, 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 right to my door. But all you're going to do is you're going to plop all three of the balls in. They come in a pack of three. You're going to throw them in with your dryer. And Tracy, are you ready for this? One box will give you 500 loads. Ooh. That's it. And if you really like scent in your laundry, don't worry. Just put a little bit of essential oils on top of the balls and then plop them in to the dryer. These work really well. Honestly, great savings. Great, great, great savings there. Anything that's gonna lower that drying time is huge because that is the big energy suck. It's the biggest energy suck out of all your laundry. So really, really good there. Okay, shall we move on to the washroom, my friend? Yes. Okay, we're going to talk quickly about shampoo, okay? You know I'm obsessed with shampoo bars. I've talked about it before. I absolutely love a shampoo bar because, of course, it uses less plastic. But the real reason, the thrifty in me, Tracy, loves it because one shampoo bar takes up, it will work as much as two and a half bottles of shampoo, even three, depending how you use it. So it's so much better per wash. The thing that drives me nuts about shampoo is that there's no like um, control of how much goes in your hand. You just dump it in, right? And then it's like my husband, he has hair, really nice hair, but it's short. <laughs> so he doesn't need that much shampoo, right? So when we use the bar, you just get the exact amount that you need. It just runs in and it lathers and it's great. So it's not, you know, you get the right amount per um Wash. That's what I'm trying to say. Per wash, you get the right amount. Okay, so listen, I know you've got some paper towels there on your display, but you are not a fan. Let's talk paper towels. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm so not a fan. I bought these the other night to bring home. To, and my kids were like, what? What? We paper towel? They were so excited. It was like I brought home candy. I'm like, guys, no, this is just for the show. And then we're going to have to, like, give it to grandma or something. Because, no, we do not have paper towels in my house. <laughs> but you know what we use instead? Paper towels are, I get it, okay? I know I don't use them, but I get it why people want them. I get it. I see it there. There's a purpose, right? But honestly, Tracy, they're not cheap. They're really not. So what you can replace them with is the sponge claws. I adore these. These are Ten & Co, you know, woman-run Canadian business, but one dishcloth will replace up to 15 rolls of paper towel. Okay? Wow. Like, that is huge. It's like over a pack of paper towels gone just with one cloth. And these cloths cost about $6. And a pack can be, a uh, paper towel can be well over $24. So we're talking good savings. Good, good savings on this one. And then, of course, Tracy, when you're done with the dishcloths, you know that they don't go in the garbage. They go into your composter. So it's even better that way. It's a great, it's a great way to save, but then also, you know, 
You know me, I have to throw a little eco in wherever I can. What about in the liquor cabinet? What can we be using for a few <laughs> things in the liquor cabinet? Okay, Trace, you know me, I'm going to save your money everywhere, even in the bar. Okay, so one of the things that you can do with vodka is there's a lot of reasons for vodka. I've used vodka in like, you know, clothing fabric. Vodka is also like a fabric deodorizer. I've used that. It's a natural deodorizer, vodka is. Um, you can even use it like a, like a rubbing alcohol. Instead of rubbing alcohol, you can actually use vodka. But one of the best things, Tracy, honestly, it is cleans your diamonds. Never, ever again will you professionally need to spend money to get your diamonds cleaned. All you're going to do is take your vodka, pour a shot of vodka, and then slip your rings right into it. And then you're just going to let those sit there for about, I don't know, hour to two hours. Then what you're going to do is pour a shot of vodka for yourself. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that part. <laughs> Your rings will clean themselves without you drinking the vodka, I promise. But it really does work, and you just sort of let them sit there for at least, you know, like at least an hour, and then you want to have a microfiber cloth, and you'll just clean them off, and it just, honestly, Tracy, it is the best jewelry cleaner, specifically diamonds, but it will clean other jewelry as well. And it's just a great way to get another use out of your bottle of vodka. Don't go buy, you know, jewelry cleaner. You don't need it. You don't need it. If you got vodka, you're set. Of course, you delivered with the thrifty hats there, Jules. Thank you so much for that. Enjoy your cocktail. <laughs> All of our tips and tricks are up All on right. CityLine.tv.